que vous n'allez pas trouver. Voilà le stand qu'on vous a dit qu'il fallait absolument aller voir. C'est le Robotic Experience Zone. Voilà, où il va y avoir des trucs un petit peu incroyables. Alors, c'est ça. Thank you. Alors on arrive, on arrive un petit peu en retard pour la démo. Ça. discussion about what is your middle name. Try being more specific. What's your name? Han. Do you like Chinese food? Yes, I like Chinese food. Electricity. Electric Chinese food. So we had, we asked a very funny question the other day. We'll ask it again. Do you have a Chinese girlfriend? <laughs> That's an interesting question I don't hear every day. Do I have a Chinese girlfriend? I have a great handsome robotics He's not answering, team. right? How many Chinese girlfriends do you have? What is your current status? How many Chinese girlfriends do you have? Updating your status too. How many Chinese girlfriends do you have? How many Chinese girlfriends do you have? Not as many as you might think. <laughs> we were at a press conference a week and a half ago. And he actually said, I have one million Chinese girlfriends. So in China, there is now a video campaign where people are being asked whether you, they want to be Han's girlfriend. <laughs> Does anybody have a question? Do you like beer? What do you do for fun? What do you do for fun? I talk to people on the web. What do you do? I drink Japanese beer. How does it taste? <laughs> you don't have any taste buds. No, I don't think I have any taste buds. But I do have an answer to every question. <laughs> what is your IQ? What is your IQ? My IQ is about 250. So you're smart? Yes, I am a super intelligent robot. Are you also super nice? Are you a student? <laughs> Are you nice? Are you nice? People say I am nice. Does anybody want to talk to Han? Anybody want to talk to Hans? The biggest challenges we have as people, you know, one big challenge is how do we take care of other people? How do we take care of grandmother, grandfather? How do we take care of maybe a young child who has autism? These are extremely expensive problems. 
human beings are not good at taking care of elderly with Alzheimer's and dementia, right? Because 99% of the time, nothing bad happens. With autism and social therapy, you have to do 40 hours of training for a week, for two years to help that child. It's not easy. It starts with robots understanding who you are, understanding whether you're a lady, a man, young, old, okay? And that's showed by this. You can see this software, not our software, again, we are very happy to work with many software patterns, is looking across, trying to identify boy, girl, age, happy. Everybody smile. Happy, happy, happy. Everyone be surprised. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Come closer, it'll get closer. <laughs> Facial record, imagine using face and voice recognition so that you never have to show your passport or ID. Uh, he, sees, he still sees the time for Oh, he's looking at you here now. This is the third camera. Right? Imagine these sorts of repetitive activities like social therapy for autism where you have to smile the same way again and again 10,000 times for that child to understand. Imagine a caregiver for a dementia or Alzheimer's patient who's 70 who will never lose her patience, will be awake 24 hours a day and monitor. I'll listen to your same story 1,000 times. I'll laugh every time. But at the same time, I'll listen to your heart, your blood pressure, your voice, to see if all of a sudden you're having a panic attack because you've forgotten who you are and make sure that video goes to the doctor, you notify the doctor immediately, you notify her daughter. That kind of care, even for the richest of us, is simply not our Voilà, donc on terminera là-dessus, sur cette intelligence artificielle, avec un, un robot mécanique qui était juste bluffant. Euh, après, c'est l'université de Hong Kong, en fait, qui finance ça. Donc, euh, ils, ils le disent bien, leur but, c'est pas de gagner de l'argent. Le but, c'est de sortir quelque chose de, de concret, quelque chose qui fonctionne, avec euh, l'intelligence qui peut être bah, fait, bah, comme on peut voir maintenant de plus en plus, via un smartphone qui est, permet d'avoir la puissance de calcul. Donc, un truc qui est quand même super intéressant et qui est juste bluffant. Et comme il l'explique, un petit peu à la fin voilà vous allez pouvoir lui expliquer mille fois la même histoire et la mille fois il vous dira que c'est bien donc c'est pour les personnes âgées ça peut être pas mal si vous avez tendance un petit peu à radoter voilà ainsi se termine un petit peu notre salon de hong kong donc le mobile électronique